Hello YouTube Axis and Allies brethren. Welcome back to the turret in Goldsboro, North Carolina. Where we're getting ready to do Japan's round six turns. So this is J6 of this Axis and Allies anniversary edition, 1941 version. Um, if you guys will kindly bear with me today, uh, usually I have uh, one of my kids help me with the videography, um, which they've done a great job of. I know the first couple we did, um, got tilted sideways we're using an iPhone to do this and I don't know how it gets turned sideways sometimes but it does and uh, but other than that the uh, quality has been pretty good and I, it, they sure are a great help to me so but anyway but uh, they're not here today uh, two of them are off on a mission trip and one is at baseball camp so this is just me it's Captain Jack flying solo so if you guys will indulge me and just bear with me with any problems that, that I'll have um, so for the purchases or the production of this uh, for Japan in this uh, round, we've got one transport for seven, one battleship for 20, and one cruiser for 12. Uh, as far as the combat moves go, there are no combat moves uh, in, this, um, in this round. Um, <clears throat> uh, there's pretty much not a whole lot we can do. Um, we lost all our transports, <laughs> so we can't move anywhere off, off the island. Um, speaking of which, uh, you know, we lost a transport that was all the way down here in the Solomons, and that was a great move by um, uh, LT seeing that. We didn't catch that at all. Um, the, his bomber that landed down here in Australia came from Manchuria and, and auto-killed our transport and landed in Australia. We didn't even see that. Um, just just didn't even see it at all uh, it was a great great catch by him and that's something we'll have to learn being novices at this um and you know because we play a house rule i don't know what everybody else does we play a house rule with transports we don't we don't like the auto kill because escorts back in the day actually had excuse me i'm, I'm calling it escorts transports actually had escorts so we don't like the auto kill rule uh for the um for the transports um, now, we play it, if one is solo, for example, like this one here, which we still can't reach, but, you know, one that's solo, we do play with the auto kill. But if, it, if, if a transport happens to be paired up with another surface warship, like a cruiser or a destroyer or a battleship, then that transport can also defend at a one. If it's, uh, if it's paired up with another transport, so if there's two, doesn't have to be any, uh, any other surface warships, but if there's two together, then they can defend at a one. Uh, so for every two, they can defend at one die. So if there happens to be four together, they can defend, um, they can roll two one hit die. So anyway, that's just, that's just one uh, way we play with transports because we just, we, just, we just don't like the auto kill rule whatsoever. Um, and it kind of takes you back to the days of the classic game where uh, the uh, escort, I keep calling them escorts, I'm sorry. The transports actually had a defense of one. So anyway, uh, enough of that. Um, so again, no uh, combat moves. We do have one non-combat move. We're gonna move this cruiser that was off the coast of Japan uh, or in Sea Zone 62 down to Sea Zone 51 off the coast of the Caroline Islands. So that's where that one will go. So we'll place our new units now. We're putting the, uh, obviously we're putting the transport down in Sea Zone 62 along with the battleship and the cruiser. And I really do appreciate LT being such a good sport. Um, you know, he's, uh, he's, he keeps going on and on about the dice rolls and I appreciate that. And I mean, he, he has, had, so I'd love to go back and calculate the numbers on, on his blue and green uh, hit dice. Uh, the, his blue and green dice, even his green dice, I believe have hit at a higher rate or just as high a rate as any red dice we've rolled. So it has been, and, our, and for those who don't know, the, the, our, our green die is a two hit die, and the reds are four. But I would venture to say, and I think he probably would agree, I think his greens have hit at a higher rate than our reds have, which is unreal. Um, like I said last night, in his uh, attempt to take Alaska, um, which was kind of a over the top move, it wasn't a, you know, a, a, a slam dunk for him by any means. Um, he came in and, and attacked with an infantry, rolled one black die and it hit. And we rolled twice defending with a fighter, uh, two red die and both of those missed. 
So, but anyway, again, I've mentioned in videos before, that kind of stuff happens. It's, it's the way war happened. Um, so, you know. Anyway, uh, that is, I believe, the entire turn. Japan will, uh, Japan is at um, 27 IPC, so they'll collect 27 to be able to spend for next turn. Uh, if there is a next turn, if there is a round seven, so we'll see, we'll see. And I, like I said, I appreciate LT indulging uh, my son and I on our first uh, YouTube Axis and Allies game. So anyway, so as we pan across to a B-17, American B-17 bombing raid uh, back on October 9th, 1943 in Germany, from the turret room in Goldsboro, North Carolina, Captain Jack, over and out.